Welcome to another Lessons with Lemon. Coach Lemon here, I'm out on the range and I'm working on my impact position. And I noticed this came up uh, last night in our team practice. We've got some optional team practices this time of year. And one of our best players who's got just a gorgeous swing, uh, she plays really, really well. But we noticed that she wasn't getting the yardage that she needed off some of the clubs, like she just wasn't hitting them as far. So we took a video, it looked, I mean, her swing looked pretty good. I wasn't, I wasn't really focusing on the full thing, but we took a video, slowed it down and noticed that she was flipping her hands a little bit. And I heard this the other day that, you know, all the PGA pros, lip golf, all golfers have a different, not every golfer has the same grip. Everybody's got a different grip. They've got kind of a different swing. I mean, you look at a Jim Furyk or Matthew Wolf or everybody's got, I mean, even John Rum, he doesn't even take it back that far. But the key thing that the best players always do is they have a forward shaft lean and their impact position is brilliant. So I wanted to give you a couple tips and show you what that means and how you can work on this in your game. Stick around. So to begin with, what does shaft lean mean? A lot of people don't understand what the best player's impact position looks like. And if you see them, again, lots of them have different grips and different swings, but the impact position is always very similar. Now, when I'm first teaching people, one of the things that I notice is a lot of times they think that they should be hitting the ball about like that, with the shaft up and down. And then I go on to show them that that's not the best way to impact the ball. And in fact, it doesn't give you the best strike. And in fact, it's very difficult to hit the middle of the club face. So what I mean by shaft lean in, in your impact position is, ideally, as you're coming through the ball, we want your shaft to be leaning about like that. And if it does that, if you're able to do that and get that nice ball first contact, it gives you the best chance to hit the ball in the center of the club face. And it also gives you the best chance to get that nice ball first divot second contact and gives you the best repeatable possible swing and the best outcome you can to the ball. So again, we don't want, we don't want to be coming through the ball and hitting the ball like this. Um, another thing is, and this is what we were kind of talking about with my, uh, the girl on the team yesterday, is she was doing a little flipping. So she kind of had her hands going forward a little bit as you're going through the ball. And again, this is somebody that's a really good player and she can hit the ball pretty well. Um, but she, and she's a great athlete, but again, as she was coming down, she's got this beautiful swing, but as she was coming down, she kind of got her hip through a little bit and she would just kind of be flipping at the ball and see how that makes it very difficult to hit the ball squarely. So I, I again, ideally, as you're coming through the ball, you want to be having your hands forward. And this is a little extreme, but you want to be hitting the ball first. So let me show you a drill that I use with my students and hopefully it'll help you as well. So the way I do this drill is I take an alignment stick. So I put it down the shaft of the club like this. I go ahead and take my normal grip like I would. And I wanna make sure that this, the alignment stick is down my left side being a right-handed golfer. If you're left-handed, it's gonna be the other way. And the idea is with this alignment shaft here, that if you get to flip, if you're flipping in your swing, the alignment stick's going to slap you in the slap you in the side of the in your side and it will prevent you from flipping through the ball. And so what I was telling my student the other day was just take a couple practice swings like this and just kind of kind of work on getting that contact through the ball like that. And even if you're just taking really small swings, just kind of get get used to that contact. And you can actually even hit a ball doing this as well. So I was having her just take a couple small practice swings and just kind of get used to it. Because again, once she got to about here, she had already flipped her hands. And with this alignment stick set up, she's not able to do that. So I was just telling her to just take a couple short swings like this. And again, did you see that pure contact? So with my hands forward, I was able to hit the ball first. And you could tell I've got a nice solid divot there. But yeah, even if you're not hitting the ball, just take a few practice swings like this and just kind of have this abbreviated hands forward motion. And one thing I've learned from teaching golf for quite a few years is that 
our body is not so good at doing what I, you know, what I'm asking it to do or what you're trying to do a lot of times, but we're really good at avoiding hitting something and avoiding hitting ourselves. So if you take this alignment stick and you take a few swings with it, it will take you very short period of time before you figure out how to not slap yourself with this alignment stick and keep your hands nice and forward. And again, it's, it's all about that impact position that all the pros have, where they've got that nice, solid, sometimes they get their foot up, depending on who it is, but the key is they've got that nice forward lean when they're hitting into the ball. But yeah, I like to just work on a few little chip shots. So we're just trying to hit like maybe a, a 40 yard shot with this and just kind of work on getting down on the ball, down and through the ball like that. So yeah, just like that. And again, it just helps keep those hands forward and gives you that nice clean contact where it's ball first, then divot contact. You can see from that slow-mo that even in my first few uh, warm-up shots that I hit, that I didn't really have a lot of shaffling. In fact, I was, I was looking at it just a second ago and I probably had just about like that at contact. And so after doing that drill, you'll be able to notice that I've got a little more shaft lean as I'm going into the ball. And I can tell already just from hitting a few that I'm hitting the ball much more crisply. Yeah, even that one I hit kind of fat, but you could tell with that forward shaft lean and hitting the ball first, it still wasn't too bad of a shot, even though I hit a little bit too much into the ground. When you're working on this drill, it's very easy to get frustrated, especially if you've been flipping for a long time. If, you're, if your impact position is here and you've been flipping a lot, this will seem extremely awkward. And the more extreme your flip is and the more extreme that this change is, the more awkward it will be. So make sure you're being kind to yourself and you understand that this is a big change or could be a big change. And the idea is, we're not gonna fix this by taking 10 practice swings or by hitting 10, 10 balls or even a bucket of balls sometimes. This will take a change. So the idea with this drill, using the alignment stick is making an extreme change to your swing and when to keep the hands way forward. And when you go back to your normal swing, the idea is you're not gonna be hitting the ball quite like this. When you go back to your normal swing, at least you'll have the hands a little bit farther forward. And again, this is something that happens over time. You need to work on it. So be kind to yourself and understand. I mean, one of the first shots I hit, I, I almost shanked it just because it felt a little awkward. And you can see in the slow motions, my hands are definitely not as far forward as I would like them to do. So this is something I'm working on as well. So again, be kind to yourself. Any swing change can be difficult. Work on it, work through it, but I think this will definitely help you in the long term. And as you can probably see from this video, I am not the best at this, as this is actually a drill I'm working on myself. Forward shaft lean, ball first contact, and if you can use that alignment stick to help you keep your hands forward, I think you'll have more consistent contact and thus you'll have better ball flight and better shots. Well, hope you enjoyed this Lessons with Lemon. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment below what you guys are working on in your game and what you would like a lesson on in the next Lessons with Lemon. Cheers, have a great day. Of the club, like this.